Hello and welcome to this tutorial of Mixcraft. Today I'm going to show you how to change keys on loops that come with Mixcraft and also how you can change the key on your own recorded instruments. So first I have this um, bass loop here. I'll play it. And what I like to do is get it to change keys. So first thing you need to do is duplicate it. So hold the Alt key down and click with the left mouse button and make a duplicate. And then see that the uh, loop editor comes up. So the first thing I want to do is change adjust to project key to adjust pitch by. And I'll be changing the semitone to 5. And play this now. Okay, so that changed it to go to the next key in the progression. Now make another loop and put it over here. Just drag one out. And this will go back now to the original uh, note. Okay, so next thing I want to do is go to the um, seventh chord, be uh, seven semitones up. So I'll just make a new duplicate of this loop and change this here to I'm sorry just pitch by 7 so here's what I got okay so maybe that's a little too long I want it to change about halfway through so what you can do is just drag this to be uh, half the length make sure it's snap to measure and then just bring these over and change them to half because it was just a little too long the other way and then play it from the beginning and see how it sounds okay so that's that's exactly uh, what I was trying to get. So instead of um, dragging all these far, four parts all the way through the song and duplicating them, what I could do is make a loop out of them. So first thing to do is select all of them. You can either do that by just dragging just on the outside of the uh, clip and highlighting everything, or you can press the shift key on the keyboard, and that also allows you to pick them out of order. So I want to make this into a clip so you can right click it and go to merge new clip which you can't see because it's off the screen or just um, press control W and that will make a new uh, loop. Now this loop can be extended and it will just repeat um, when it gets to the end. Okay, so back that up and see how it sounds. Okay, so that that makes uh, that rhythm section. And now that it is a clip and it's no longer set uh, to have its semitones change throughout the individual clips, you can put this back to adjust the project key and now when you change the key of the song uh, the clip is going to change along with it and this also works if you record in your guitar or bass or uh, keyboard something like that or even vocals so I'll change this here Let's see if I can get it to change while it's playing So that's pretty powerful. You know, if you have a song that's in a certain key, maybe your singer uh, needs to sing it into a key they're comfortable with, and then you could change the song back to the key that it's supposed to be in, and then everything falls in line. Um, so that concludes this tutorial on how to change the keys of loops and your recorded um, 
your recorded music that you can also make loops out of those pieces. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye bye.